substitute the figure find the acceleration a of the falling weight p so this is the falling weight p so a is the acceleration for this block falling weight means that this is going to move in downward right direction right so acceleration will be downwards if the coefficient of friction between uh, the block q and uh, horizontal plane on which it slides is uh, mu so coefficient of friction is given as mu neglect inertia of pulley and friction on its axle so you need to neglect friction here the following numerical data are given so p is equal to 44.5 newtons and q is equal to 53.4 newtons and mu is equal to 1 by 3 so these are given data right so in these two blocks the block p is having motion first right so for that reason consider the free body diagram of a block p first so this is block p for any figure first you need to represent the weight right so p is the weight so which will act vertically downwards and along the string there will be tensile force right there so represent the tensile force let it be s or t your wish so i am considering it as s and it is accelerating in downward direction in the opposite direction there will be inertia force so the inertia force is nothing but ma so instead of m i can write w by g into a but what is w here which is nothing but weight p right so p by g into a so instead of ma i can write p by g into a there so p by g into a vertically upwards so apply sigma fy equal to 0 for this one so s along positive uh, y direction so s play, sorry minus plus p by g into a is equal to 0 from that s is equal to p minus p by g into a consider this one as equation 1 now consider the second uh, block free body diagram so i am going to draw the free body diagram here so remove all the contact surfaces draw that separately represent the weight first weight is nothing but q and a normal reaction perpendicular to surface so this block is not able to move in the downward direction right in the opposite direction represent the normal reaction and along the string there will be tensile force right s is the tensile force and it is able to move in this direction in the opposite direction there will be frictional force f and it is accelerating if this uh, block is going to move in downward direction then this block is going to move in left hand side direction right so that means acceleration will be in left hand side direction so in the opposite direction you need to represent inertia force which is nothing but uh, uh, w by g into a so here weight is a q right so q by g into a ok now apply sigma fy equal to 0 and sigma fx is equal to 0 for that sorry for that ok so acceleration in this direction and inertia force in this direction so apply sigma fy equal to 0 so when I apply sigma fy equal to 0 and acting vertically upwards and q acting vertically downwards equal to 0 from that n is equal to q so if i want to calculate a frictional force there f is equal to u into n right so instead of n i can substitute here q so mu q now consider sigma fx is equal to 0 sigma fx is equal to 0 when i consider sigma fx is equal to 0 along x direction the forces are minus s plus f f along positive x direction right and plus q by g into a equal to 0 so there is one more force right so this is the force no forces are there so equal to 0 so here you can substitute the value of s from equation 1 which is nothing but p minus p by g into a plus instead of s sorry instead of f you can substitute the value of uh, mu q ok instead of s you can uh, instead of force uh, frictional force you can substitute the value mu q so mu q plus q by g into a equal to 0 so this is nothing but minus p plus p by g into a plus mu q plus q 
क्यू बाई जी इंटू ए इक्वल टू जीरो राइट नाउ टेक ए बाई जी एज कॉमन सो वेन यू टेक ए बाई जी कॉमन सो पी इज लाइक दिस ए पी फ्रॉम दिस वन एंड प्लस क्यू फ्रॉम दिस वन माइनस पी प्लस न्यू क्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो फ्रॉम दैट ए बाई जी इंटू पी प्लस क्यू इज इक्वल टू पी माइनस न्यू इंटू क्यू फ्रॉम दैट आई कैन राइट द रिलेशन फॉर एक्सेलरेशन एक्सेलरेशन इज इक्वल टू पी माइनस न्यू क्यू डिवाइडेड बाई पी प्लस क्यू सो बाई जी वेन वेन दैट वन गोज ऑन टू राइट हैंड साइड इट इज इन टू जी राइट सो नाउ सब्सिट द वैल्यूज ऑफ पी जी न्यू एंड क्यू सो पी इज नथिंग बट फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट फाइव न्यूटन्स माइनस न्यू इज गिवन देर वन बाई थ्री एंड क्यू इज फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट फोर डिवाइडेड बाई पी इज फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट फाइव प्लस फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट फोर इंटू जी सो यू कैन सब्सिट द वैल्यू ऑफ जी देर और यू कैन सिंपली कीप इट लाइक दैट सो वैन यू सॉल्व इट यू विल गेट acceleration is equal to this value will get in the numerator 26.7 by 97.9 into g so when you simplify that one further acceleration is equal to 3 by 11 into g so this is the final answer or otherwise you can uh, substitute the value of g no problem with that thank you for watching hope you like this video if you like this video click on like button and don't forget to subscribe